Welcome to my store. Lettuce. You need some more lettuce? Yes. You know how I used to, before I, well, I still don't speak English very well. Yes, you do. I, have, I can always I understand you. a lot of mistakes. You know how I used to call it? Letuce. Letuce, because you know how, how in Spanish, the way you, 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 uh, you, you write, you read, and you pronounce? Well, letuce. Well, it's just like that just question you asked me this why morning. You, why, why is uh, lettuce? Well, it's sounds very nice to do lettuce. Okay. Well, remember your son said you were a weesome? <laughs> yeah. Well, at least someone thinks that. <laughs> also pronounced as awesome. <laughs> but yeah, if you pronounce all the letters, a weesome. <laughs> well, talking with you all the time is improving my English mostly. Talking with you, but you're very smart, intelligent man, and always right. And I'm always you right. Me. <laughs> you me according to what you say, and you're always right. Then, well, well, then how come you don't always being, agree with me? Well, I'm being agreed with you because it's better to be agreed than to than to say no, you're not. Then. You know. Do you, you're honestly up there telling the people that you always, always agree with me, but that you yell at me sometimes oh, yeah. and uh, you raise your voice. Well, yeah, I mean, that's contradicting yourself, hon. Well, I raise my voice because that's. Yeah, but you nature. just got through saying I was right all the time. It's my nature to raise my voice. All depends what kind of state. If I'm happy or hungry or whatever, I just do a little more, more uh, here and there. But I never have a low spoken voice. No? No. No? No. <laughs> no, I don't really speak high in a high pitch. I'm wondering if I practice, uh, if I practice, uh, how do you call that one, that soprano thing? How do you call that one? Oh. <laughs> Soprano thing? Yeah, I wonder if that if I train my voice for that. Oh, opera! Opera! I think if the, if the, the soprano if thing. Having a high pitch voice will get me to be a soprano? No, I don't think so. I don't know. <laughs> well, soprano isn't that the higher one? I think so. Because I think it's bass, tenor, alto, soprano. Yeah, well. So you already got a soprano voice? Yes, then I just need uh, what else? Talent? Talent? Uh, I don't think I have talent for that. Well, you got talent on. No, I have a lot of talent. <laughs> <laughs> Hiding talents. <laughs> hidden talents. Oh, hidden talents. Hiding talents. You see? Yeah, hidden talents. Okay, then, where where are we going? We're giving more letters and um, hidden these beauties. Uh, well, you you know, we don't have so much decorations in the tank because, well, these fish got to go. We sell them pretty much. Then it's no time to have a decoration because that's one of the questions I asked this man, which is so brilliant the other day, because I want to have all these tanks with such as a beautiful reefs and rocks and plants and that. But what happened is that when you want to catch them to sell them, you really have more trouble. Then we wanna, we have to keep, as that he told me, to keep them more clear and uh, without the hiding place. Well, we so otherwise you already, do you know how long it took me to grab a little under crab, you say it's called? That was hiding in that anemone? Anemone Four crab? Anemone crab, 45 minutes and that little thing, it was going inside of the anemone and it was closing. And how long did I take to catch it the next day? Well, experience makes the difference in anything you do. How long did it take me? <laughs> a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> you seconds? Well, I'm not saying that I'm the expert here. I'm your pupil. <laughs> I'm learning. I'm learning. It's fun to learn. All the new things come by, and you never get bored here. So the new fish is coming and going, new different things that you gotta learn. I don't think I will I will be a, available to learn everything what it needs to be learned in this thing. But in the meantime, I'm doing my best, and I guess uh, everybody needs to learn something from something from where, from who. <laughs> then we're gonna help everybody, else. I'm helping myself to learn how to look after fish tanks.
throw in the garbage and clean an up a little bit because you know how to mess around is not nice. Are you suggesting and that I'm more messy than you? Uh, I'm not suggesting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying that you are more messed up myself. That is not a suggestion. That is making point clear that yes, you are. But you know, we're not perfect and. I thought you just got through saying I was. I, you. I thought you just got through saying I was perfect. Oh, uh, in some of the ways. In some of the others, no, no, no. And uh, once, we were, like here in Canada, we all complaining the weather this, the weather, the weather that. But it's something we should be happy. We don't have all the problems that other people have, other countries have. Then it's always a price to pay. And. I think the cold weather is not a very little price to pay for all the joy and peaceful and everything that we have here, don't we? Yeah. You see, then with me and you, you and I, it's always a price to pay because... <laughs> yeah, but when you're walking home and you're freezing, that's a heavy price. <laughs> I have to pay my price by cleaning after you, and you have to pay your price by listening to my <laughs> <laughs> by listening by listening to my nonsense, and you sometimes scream and then breathe it. <laughs> huh? How is that even? <laughs> well, yeah. I'm a little bit messy. It's fair. It's oh, fair. okay. It's <laughs> Okay. Okay. Then, By her standards, this is fair. Well, <laughs> as you say, as long as it's convenient for me. Yeah, but you've heard my saying. lines about uh, parenting is all about me. How it's good to have a boy so he can do my work. Yeah, right. Well, obviously, I don't like to do work. <laughs> yeah, right. Okay, that work continues. What is in here, anyhow? More bugs. Well, it's everywhere here. Do we have any newcomers here? Well, we got a bunch more shrimp. See those blood shrimp? Yeah. They're new. All those cleaner shrimp. They were babies when they first got here, but... Uh, Why do they call cleaner the shrimp? Well, because they clean parasites off fish. Oh, okay. See how they go all over the lettuce too? Yeah. Because we got about... Well, I like these guys. I know feather dusters? Yeah, that's feather duster. Yeah. Oh, did you see where they're what breeding? What happened with them? No. Oh, okay. Are they breeding? Yeah, see them there. See, that's the big feather dusters. Okay. And then if you come over here in the refugium... See them right there? Like a refugee thing? That they come and they have... Well, it's a refuge. Oh, okay. okay. So see how there's feather dusters, uh, there's one there. Yeah. There's a bunch here. Wow, are these ones the same one like the other lady got that they reproduce like, uh, like Which ants lady? or... Uh, um, oh, no, those are the... Benfica. Those are the Aptasia anemones. Oh, what is the name okay. of this one? These are feather dusters. These people want. Aptasia anemones, nobody wants. Okay. Aptasia anemones are evil. Okay, but look at, well, what are you doing different that for them to, to be producing in here in these circumstances? Because remember, we used to, uh, it didn't happen before. Is something new you're doing here in this tank? Well, what I do here is I feed this tank live rotifers. Okay. Okay, so in our next segment, we'll be feeding the live rotifers, and you'll see what that's all about. Okay?